Today we are celebrating the memorial of Saints Cornelius Pope and Saint Cyprian Bishop Martyrs. We are, our Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Mark Hale by the Rizzo family. We also keep in our prayers all the people being affected by the hurricane, the wildfires. There are so many places in this world today that, that need our prayers. Uh, people suffering from the coronavirus and the pandemic. And in a special way, we're also remembering Jack's daughter, Diane, who's uh, going in for surgery tomorrow. Let us together recite our entrance antiphon. The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven. The saints who follow in the footsteps of Christ, and since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who gave Saints Cornelius and Cyprian to your people as diligent uh, shepherds and uh, valiant martyrs, and grant that through their intercession we may be strengthened in faith and constantly, and spend ourselves without reserve for the unity of the Church through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gifts, but I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. Love is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interest. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. If there are prophecies, they will, brought, they will be brought to nothing. If tongues, they will cease. If knowledge, it will be brought to nothing. For we know partially and we prophesy partially. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I used to talk as a child, think as a child, reason as a child. When I became a man, I put aside childish things. At present, we see, we see indistinctly, as in a mirror, but then face to face. At present, I know partially, and then I, sh then I shall know fully, as I am fully known. So faith, hope, love remain, these three, 
but the greatest of these is love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial song, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the, of the, kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed, Blessed the, the people Lord, the Lord has chosen to be his own. own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Blessed, Blessed the, people, the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another, We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said he is possessed by a demon. <clears throat> the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we are reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. <clears throat> and this is one of the favorite weddings, uh, uh, readings for weddings. And, and when I was a young priest, I was almost sick and tired of hearing it. Now that I'm older, I never, never tire of hearing this. We speak of the greatest spiritual gifts and the importance of love. Well, I think we need to put that into perspective a little bit, especially during these troubling times. Uh, our reading yesterday spoke about how the body, the body of Christ, is one, though it has many parts. And the parts have to work together. I, I'm saying this because I saw something on the news yesterday. Um, a, a singer, I can't remember his name, I think he was the lead singer for Oasis. But he, he was in public and he was refusing to wear a mask. And, and, and when he was challenged, he said, hey, it's, it's my life. If, if I get sick, well, then I get sick. But of course, we wear a mask. I mean, not, unless you're wearing one of the super duper, you know, hospital masks. We're wearing a mask to keep other people safe. And if we're thinking about the application of what St. Paul is speaking here, we can do so many things. But if we don't have love, then it's all for nothing. And I think you know, wearing masks and social distancing and washing our hands and all these things. If I'm doing that for myself, well, that's terrible. It's selfish. It's the opposite of love. If I am not concerned with the welfare of other people, that's terrible. It's the opposite 
of love. The body is one and it has many parts. We are all part of the body of Christ. And some people will say, well, I mean, that's only if you're baptized. If you're not baptized, you're not part of the body of Christ. Jesus Christ died for everybody before people were baptized. The body of Christ is not only Catholics, it's not only people who are baptized, it's everyone who strives after God. It's everyone who will be part of the body of Christ in heaven. And so we need to look at all of our brothers and sisters as part of our body. We are all part of this one body. And if I don't care about other people, what happens if the eye says, oh, well, the foot isn't important? You try stubbing your toe some night, walking in the dark. All of a sudden, the foot becomes very important. So we need to hear this again and again and again. As I said, I never tire of, of hearing this from St. Paul. The greatest gift that God has given to us and the greatest gift that we can give to one another is love. God gave us freedom, not freedom from responsibility, but freedom so that we can love one another and freedom to imitate Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> Please stand. God of love and mercy, despite getting our despite our getting caught up in all the cares of this life, we have faith that you have chosen to remain with us. For all refugees, those fleeing from violence and those fleeing from natural disasters. May your love and our efforts show them the compassion they deserve as your children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of our church and the leaders of all churches, may they be guided to lead us to work tirelessly for those in need and those most vulnerable in our world, we remember especially the unborn there, the most vulnerable. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For the universal mission of the church that like St. Paul and all the apostles, we may follow Christ to his cross and so bring light and peace to the nations. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For our enemies, and those who would persecute us, that we may always rely on the power and goodness of God to bring love, peace, and justice to our world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have asked us to pray for them, for all those who need our prayers, for those who are included in our parish prayer list, um, for Jack's daughter, Diane, who's having surgery tomorrow, and for Carmen Angeloni, who's in the hospital, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who now sleep in the arms of Christ, may they find comfort and peace while we pray to be included in the number of those saved by the tender mercy of God. We remember especially uh, Mark Hale, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. God of justice and mercy, hear our prayers and come to our aid in our hour of need. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from all of my sins. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the offerings of your people in honor of the passion of your holy martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, and may the gifts that gave them courage under persecution make us too steadfast in all trials through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her son, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Mingling with the body and blood.
Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Receive your new life, blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not for me, judgment, and condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for me protection and mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our communion antiphon. How rich is the saints' reward from God. They died for Christ and will live forever. Let us pray. Through these mysteries which we have received, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that by the example of the martyrs, Saints Cornelius and Cyprian, we may be strengthened with the fortitude of your spirit to bear witness to the truth of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, <coughs> the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.